Hi there. My name is Alvin, Alvin the Owl. I was designed and animated by Ted. Hello viewers, this is the Extraordinary Terrace speaking. And this video is a quick overview of my Alvin the Owl character and how I've set him up in Cool Moves. As you can see here, I've got Cool Moves open. And this is my Alvin the Owl character in his standing still position. And what you'll notice is that straight away is that his head does not appear to be attached to his body. And that's actually a bug with Cool Moves. Because if I show you this animation running in preview, you'll notice that in preview mode, he's standing there and he blinks and he's breathing as you would expect and his head's all in the right place. So it's pretty much just a bug with cool moves. I'll just undo that <coughs> and if you've watched my other tutorials you'll be able to see from them how this file is set up to use this character in GoAnimate so refer to those if you want to see how it's set up but if we go into the character file or the character movie file you'll see here we've got Alvin and he's made up of only three keyframes. If I drag this along, you'll see it, it, that he just barely moves, but you might have noticed in the preview that his eyes were blinking, but in this file they're not. And that's because I've got the head set up as a movie file inside this movie file. So if I select the head now and go into the movie file for that and the frames you'll see now we've got just the head and this is a series of about five frames I think it is, five, six frames. You can see there that's the eyes blinking open and shut. And the reason why I've done this is so that um, I can now animate the head independently from the body and vice versa. So if I now go back up into the top level movie file, what I can do is actually add as many frames to this as I want, make his arms and legs and head move in any way I want, and when I preview it, he'll still have that blinking action that you saw him do in the preview. So if I now go back to the main movie, again I'll just show you the preview. So you can see he's doing the up and down motion, but his eyes are also blinking every so often. If I now go back and open up his talk action that I've made for him, get his talk action. Don't want to save the changes to that. You can see here again the head's out of whack. But if I preview this file, see now he's talking and his wings and that are moving as well. So if I now go into this movie's file, um, movie clip, You'll see this 
Now it just has the wing movements and the head movement. But his mouth doesn't actually talk. I have to actually go into a clip for just the head. The embedded movie clip for just the head. See the frames in that. See if I scroll through these, he blinks, talks, and his ears move up and down as well. So I just wanted to show you this to sort of show you how you can separate components into embedded movie files so that you can then just focus on animating those particular parts without having to worry too much about whether his wings synchronize up with what he's with his mouth and movements and whatever. And this has got this talking movie clip has twenty seven frames whereas if I go back into the main clip the main clip itself only has twelve frames. So that's really all that I wanted to show you, is how you can not only use a movie clip for your character, but also embed a movie clip within the movie clip, so that you can focus on animating different parts of the character and not have to try and coordinate all of the body parts working together in one sequence. You can sort of separate bits out and just focus on those parts. So hopefully that's been a fairly clear explanation. Until the next video, we shall see you later. Bye for now.